to the crack. Hey, I'm bringing you a set I've never done before. This one's called Jell Appeal. This set comes with five different colored tubes, and we're going to use it to make our own jewelry. It's really easy and only takes four steps. First, we choose a template or create our own. Then we pick a color and a design tip. Next, we draw and wait for it to dry. And then we just peel, wear, and share. I can't wait to see how it works. Let's go ahead and open the box. First, we have our design templates. This one's the most basic one. Whoa, this headband looks a lot more difficult. Cool, and we can also make earrings. Wow, look at how intricate these bracelets are. I love how this set comes with a bunch of templates. If you guys want me to do more videos making gel appeal, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And in the corner of each template, it tells you the level and how long it's going to take to dry. See, this one says beginner in two hours, and the next one says advance in six hours. Here's the plastic mat we're going to use to put our gel on. And it comes with one headband. Here's a bag of accessories. Inside we have our earrings and our keychain. And this bag holds all of our tips. This set comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tips. And one scraper. Here's our pink gel, purple, gold, glitter green, and glitter pink. So I think I'm going to start with these beginner bracelets just to get a feel for it. We're going to lay our plastic right on top and tape all the sides down. Now to set up our gel, we just unscrew it and there's a plug inside that we need to remove. I'm going to use the end of the scraper to help remove the plug. Now we screw on the tip. And we're good to go. So we just squeeze the tube and follow the template. This one's pretty easy, we're just going to be making a few circles. In the end it'll kind of look like a gold chain. Now we'll move on to this pink one. This one's a little bit harder. First I'm going to do the line, and then we'll do the spikes. It's pretty cool that we can make our own jewelry. These would also make great gifts for your friends. And it'll be extra special because you made it yourself. Next I'm going to use the scraper just to clean it up a little bit. That looks pretty good. Now we'll move on to the purple. Again, I'm going to do the straight line first. And now I'll make the dots. We want to make sure the dots and the line are touching each other. That way it'll stick together when it dries. Now this one's definitely the hardest one on the sheet. The instructions say to do the middle line first. So we'll go ahead and go in with the gold and put purple on the outside. Ooh, I'm loving how this one's turning out. Again, I'm just going to go in with the scraper and clean it up. And I'm going to make sure the gold and the purple are touching each other. Now for the not so fun part, we have to wait two hours for this to dry. But while you're waiting, you can definitely go watch some more awesome Disney toys. 
After two hours and a bunch of videos later, your bracelet should be dry. We just peel it off like this. And here's our first bracelet! The scraper really comes in handy when peeling this off. Whoops, I went a little too fast and two of the dots fell off. Well, that's a bummer. But the good part about this is I could just set it back down and then put two new dots and it'll dry perfectly. We'll fix this one later. And here's our last bracelet. I'm gonna say that this one's my favorite. Let me know in the comments which one's yours. So let me show you guys how to close this. One side has the loop and the other side has the two spikes. We just put the two ends through the hole and then pull. And that's how we close the bracelet. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.